1926, the United States continues to prosper from the post-World War I economic boom. And in Oldsmar, Florida, Tampa Downs holds its inaugural meeting. Famed celebrities including Babe Ruth, Jack Dempsey, and John Ringling helped commemorate the official opening on February 18th. With a turn in the economy, the track struggled to hold successful meets through the 1930s. Due to World War II, the track was utilized by the United States Army for jungle warfare training. In 1947, the Sunshine Park Racing Association formed and the track reopened as Sunshine Park. Legendary sports writer Grantland Rice frequented the track in his later years, referring to Sunshine Park as the Santa Anita of the South. A new clubhouse was constructed in 1954. Four new barns and track resurfacing also highlighted the year, drawing rave reviews from the local horsemen. In 1965, a new ownership group, headed by Chester Ferguson, took over Sunshine Park. Under new ownership, the track was renamed Florida Downs and Turf Club in 1966. Within three years, a new $800,000 grandstand was constructed with seating for 6,000 people. In 1972, a Tampa industrialist by the name of Sam F. Davis took control of Florida Downs. Under his control, the track set a season record for total handle of $11 million. In March of 1980, famed New York Yankees owner George Steinbrenner bought a major share in Florida Downs for an undisclosed price and renamed the track Tampa Bay Downs. A lifelong racing fan, he would own and breed racehorses at Kinsman Farm until his death in 2010. Sam F. Davis retired in 1980. To honor his contribution, the track runs the Sam F. Davis Stakes, a premier race for three-year-olds en route to the Kentucky Derby. Jockey Richard DePass became the first jockey in history to go seven for seven on a single card. Apprentice jockey Julie Crone earned her first career victory at Tampa Bay Downs in 1981. She would go on to become one of the most successful female jockeys in history with 3,704 career wins. Julie Crone was inducted into the National Racing and Museum Hall of Fame in 2000. Slua Gold participated in the 1983 Tampa Bay Derby. He finished second, but went on to win seven grade one races and earned two Eclipse Awards. In 1985, Tampa Bay Downs brought Richard Grunger to the announcer's booth. Prior to calling the races in Oldsmar, he called races in Western Canada and the Pacific Northwest. He is the current announcer to this day. Current owner Stella Thayer first assumed control of Tampa Bay Downs in 1986 with her brother Howell Ferguson. They made a $16.2 million bid a month before the start of the season to take the reins of the facility. Lorraine King is named general manager, completing what is believed to be the first instance of separate female ownership and management. In 1988, Rockin' Ronnie Allen Jr. became the first jockey in track history to surpass 100 victories in a single season. That same year, Hall of Fame horse trainer Woody Stevens entered Cephas in the Tampa Bay Derby. Cephas closed from 25 lengths off the lead to win and would go on to capture the Pennsylvania Derby. Intertrack wagering debuted in Florida in 1989 and Tampa Bay Downs remained open year-round as a simulcast facility. This allowed bettors to wager on tracks from across the country while at Tampa Bay Downs. A rare tornado struck the backside in 1991. Several barn roofs were torn away and races were canceled the subsequent day. With 123 wins, jockey Willie Martinez set a single season record in 1992. That number included three local stakes victories. Martinez would go on to win the Breeders' Cup Sprint aboard Trinniburg in 2012. Locally based, not surprising, trained by Judd Van Warp, won the Pelican Stakes in 1995. He would go on to amass 23 career victories and win the 1995 Eclipse Award for Champion Sprinter. Peter Berube became the comptroller at Tampa Bay Downs. Today, he serves as vice president and general manager. His team includes vice president of marketing and publicity, Margot Flynn, vice president of finance, Greg Gallion, vice president of facilities and track surfaces, Tommy McLaughlin, and vice president, Hal Ferguson. To the delight of fans and horsemen alike, 
A turf course was approved in 1997. Grass was planted in September of that year, and the new course would officially open in 1998. Hall of Fame writer Jerry Bailey would show up at Tampa Bay Downs in 1997 to pilot ZD in the Tampa Bay Derby. ZD, trained by fellow Hall of Famer Bill Mott, would win as the race favorite. Three-time graded stakes winner Secret Status won the Florida Oaks in gate-to-wire fashion in 2000. A dirt race at the time, the Florida Oaks is currently contested on the turf course. She was ridden to victory by Hall of Fame jockey Pat Day. She would win the Grade 1 Kentucky Oaks in her subsequent start. In 2003, Tampa Bay Downs launched its state-of-the-art golf practice and wagering facility. The area included a 270-yard driving range, putting and short game areas, as well as a fully stocked pro shop. In 2004, the new 7 furlong chute was installed. Today, several local stakes, including the Pasco and Gasparilla, are contested at this unique distance. That same year, the Silks Poker Room opened and remains an instant hit with local poker enthusiasts. The Silks Poker Room offers unique games for all players, including three-card poker and ultimate Texas Hold'em. To improve the fan experience, a video board was installed in the track's infield prior to the 2007 racing season. That same year, the Carl Nasker-trained Street Sense prevailed by a nose in the Tampa Bay Derby, beating the favorite any given Saturday. Street Sense would go on to become the first Tampa Bay Derby winner to win the Kentucky Derby two months later. 2008 saw several star runners pass through Tampa Bay Downs. Eclipse award-winning champion two-year-old Colt War Pass participated in the Tampa Bay Derby, though failed to beat any horse to the wire. Dreaming of Anna, an Eclipse Award winner at two, won both the Endeavor and Hillsborough Stakes that same year. Like Street since before, Tampa Bay Downs saw another Kentucky Derby winner pass through in 2010. Super Saver, trained by Todd Pletcher, was unable to get to the wire in front of the 2010 Tampa Bay Derby field. However, two starts later, he would go on to pull the eight to one upset in the run for the Roses. Hall of Fame jockey Ramon Dominguez visited the track in 2010 to ride Gio Ponti in the Tampa Bay Stakes. Gio Ponti, a three-time Eclipse Award winner, would lose the tightest of photos to Karelian, trained by Rusty Arnold. A new track record was set in 2015 for most wins by a jockey in a single season. Antonio Gallardo, a native of Cadiz, Spain, would total 147 victories for the meet and finish second in the country for most wins in a calendar year with 320 victories. Two-time Eclipse Award winner and Breeders' Cup mile winner, Teppin, trained by Mark Cassie, entered the starting gate as the race favorite in the 2016 Hillsboro Stakes. She had previously won the Endeavor Stakes that same year. In a thriller, she would run down pace setter Isabella Sings in the final 16th of a mile to the delight of over 10,200 fans in attendance. In 2017, Todd Pletcher took the road to the Kentucky Derby through Tampa Bay Downs once again, sending Always Dreaming to Tampa to break his maiden. Hall of Fame rider John Velasquez made the trip to Oldsmar to ride Always Dreaming. The three-year-old would go on to win both the Florida and Kentucky Derbies. That same year, Todd Pletcher would again make an impact at Tampa Bay Downs, winning the Tampa Bay Derby with Taprit. In June, Taprit pulled a mild 5-1 upset in the Belmont Stakes. The Gray Colt was piloted by Jose Ortiz, winner of the Eclipse Award for Outstanding Jockey in 2017. In 2018, Eclipse Award-winning trainer Dale Romans visited Tampa Bay Downs, bringing with him CS in Charge, a talented filly to compete in the Sun Coast. Dismissed as the fourth choice in the wagering, CS in Charge would cross the wire to be victorious by nearly two lengths. On that same day, 2017 Eclipse Award winner Live Oak Plantation's World Approval won the Grade 3 Tampa Bay Stakes, making it his fourth straight graded stakes victory. Don't forget, Tampa Bay Downs currently hosts live thoroughbred racing November through May. The track is open every day for simulcast wagering, no limits poker action, and tournament play in the Silks Poker Room. 
and golf fun and instruction at the Downs Golf Practice Facility.